Hello nerds, I'm Brianna from Victoria, British Columbia, and it is Saturday, April 27th, 2013. Now I know today was supposed to be a Thoughts from Places Day, and even though I knew that for months, I kind of procrastinated too much, and suddenly I found myself without enough time to actually take you around this beautiful city. So I started to panic a little bit, because I didn't know what I wanted to do this video on. And then about a week ago, I got my answer in the form of a letter that began with the words, I regret to inform you. I'm a theater student hoping one day to be an actor. Have you ever felt so passionate about something that you want it more than anything you've ever wanted in your life and it hurts to even consider life without it? That's pretty much how I feel about acting. The ability to, to bring a story to life by embodying it and sharing it with an audience is one of the greatest experiences in the world. I cannot describe how incredible it is when you get to take the words on a page and create this whole new world for an audience and create that connection with people. Now, the way the theater department at my school works is you spend your first year doing a little bit of everything in the theater. And then at the end of your first year, if you choose to pursue the acting specialization, you audition. And if you don't make it the first time, you can re-audition at the end of your second year. And I've just completed my second year and I got my second rejection letter. Getting a rejection like that, especially when it's not the first time, it's incredibly discouraging. You dedicate yourself to this one thing and you're so driven and focused towards this one thing that nothing else matters because you want this more than you've wanted anything in your life before and suddenly all of that work is knocked out from under your feet with a few simple words and at this point a lot of people would probably give up they would find a different path they would reevaluate what they actually want but i can't i cannot describe how much it hurts to even consider life without acting and performing for people i love being on stage i love the feeling of telling a story and inviting other people into a different world for a few hours. I love building a character, I love tearing apart the words on a page and putting them in front of people. I cannot give up on this. I've worked harder for this than I've worked towards anything in my life and I've forced my way through anxiety and depression and self-doubt and people telling me that I should be doing something more useful with my life and I'm not gonna just throw away all that fighting and work now because I can't. This is something I've wanted to do since I was very young and I cannot give up on it now and this sort of attitude, attitude is something I've found throughout my life. Whenever I hear things like, you're too quiet to be an actor, or you're too, you're too shy to be an actor, or you should be doing something more practical with your life, all I'm hearing is prove me wrong. There is no greater motivation for me than rejection, or being told I can't, or being told you're not good enough. Because when I hear those words, it kickstarts something in me and I'm suddenly working that much harder to make it happen. And I, I don't know, maybe that's a little bit weird? I cannot give up on something like this. Every single rejection I've gotten throughout my life has only caused me to work that much harder to make it happen. So I'm not giving up now. I don't know, maybe I'm just stubborn? What do you think, Nurse Vicaria? Am I crazy? <laughs> what are the things that motivate you when, you when you're pursuing a goal? Are you a fan of the if at first you don't succeed, try try again mentality? And how do you handle rejection? That's all I've got for this video. It's the first one I've ever made, so I hope things make, made sense and they were clear. You can find me around the internet, links in the doobly-doo. And I'll see someone tomorrow.